But were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory. When then came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The next verse says, And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mountain. We also have a sure word of prophecy, whereby we do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in our hearts. Let's look at this. He calls himself the bright and the morning star. Zechariah calls him the day spring. Peter calls him the day dawn. The day dawn. And the day starts. Say hallelujah, somebody. Now, all these stardoms which we see about Jesus reveals that the, his, his ability to shift anything, to change all things. At any time that the name Jesus is revealed, there is a breaking of the dawning of a new day. And with the theme of this conference, which is to connect to the nations, bring the nations into the light, it is important for us to understand what kind of a light are we talking about. It is important for us to understand how this bright light of heaven connects to our living being, connects to our ministries, connects to our purpose, and connects to our anointing. If God could use David to the extent that David could prepare a throne for Jesus, that Jesus was not ashamed to call David his father, in spite of all the weaknesses David had, then we have hope also. And I believe that we are in the days where God is about to move in the life of human beings that will make angels shake. I feel the release of an incredible anointing that will bring such an awe on this earth that the angels will begin to say, what manner of grace is this? That God has given so much grace to his people. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, there is a difference be between the Old Testament grace and the Old Testament favor and the New Testament favor. In the Old Testament, the favor that they had was not merited. It was an unmerited favor. But in the New Testament, it is merited. Amen. Everybody smile. If you want to hear, mark in my notes. In the, in the Old Testament, the favor they enjoyed was not merited. In the New Testament, which is the grace, it's merited. Because it was paid. Mm. Are you still? It was paid. So I deserve it. Amen. Well, when I enter into the, the airplane and I take my seat, I deserve every water I drink. I deserve every drink they bring to me. I deserve a safe flight. Because it's been big. The, 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 the subject of grace which we have been teaching is about to be revisited again. Amen. And, and, and it's very likely that we may have to, 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 to pull back some of our scripts on God's grace. Because grace is an endless subject matter which manifests itself in the dimensions of his timetable. Because if God will reveal his entire grace upon our life with, with the revelation that he carries, there will be so much wastage in the house of the Lord. Yes. 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 One more time. Yes. The favor of the Old Testament was not monitored. Because it wasn't made. In, in, in John chapter 7, the Bible says that for, for, for the, 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 the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Christ was not glorified. 
It doesn't say the Holy Spirit. It says the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost is the person. The Spirit had been manifested in the Old Testament in dimensions. The Bible says when Samson was going to Tina to marry a wife, a young lion rose against him in the valley of Tina. And the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. And he tore it as though he was a baby. So the Spirit of the Lord was already functioning. But, 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 but it was functioning. In the dimension of influence, not in the New Testament. Because in the New, New Testament, he is not the Spirit of the Lord, he is the Holy Ghost. To, to a different dimension. Wow. The Holy Ghost is the person, mm-hmm. but his Spirit is the influence. Mm-hmm. So all through the Old Testament, we've seen the influence of the Spirit. So it's possible for you to be in ministry and see the influence of the Spirit, but not know who he is. Sometimes we see tremendous crusades with healings and miracles. It could be the increment of the Spirit because the people are hungry and they have called upon the name of the Lord. But the speaker may not know the Holy Ghost as a person. We shall hit home run in the last few minutes. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So, 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 what is it about the Old Testament? What is it about the, the New Testament? When we really understand what happened on the cross and what we have received, we will go on our knees every day with thanksgiving in a humble a, a homage unto the Lord for the thing that He has done for us, number one, and for the heritage we have received. Yeah. Now in the New Testament, grace has been given upon grace. That scripture simply means grace has been given in an endless dimension yet to be spoken about. May you receive the grace of the Lord. I said may you receive the grace of the Lord. I said may you receive the grace of the Lord. Verse, verse 18. My time is almost up. Is that right? Mm-hmm. 
from verse 1. Matthew chapter 2 from verse 1. It says that now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Saying, Why is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star. We have seen his star, and I come to worship him. Now they saw the star, which we now know is the bright and the morning star. Yes. And they followed this star to find who was the person behind the star. And when they found this star, they bowed and worshipped him. Yes. Now, whatever Jesus Christ is, he is what we are supposed to be. And I ask him, he is a star, and he has a star. He has made us all into the style of the kingdom of God. Amen. That we are all not just preachers, but we are stars. When he said that I send you into the nations, teach the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, he is sending his stars into the nations. We are not supposed to just go to the nation and say, well, well, hear the gospel of our Lord. We are supposed to, to go to the nation in the manifestation of the light that we are. Yeah. You teach the nations based on who you are. You reveal the light that is within you. In the nations as we go. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Uh, there was, there was, there was what, our first time in Russia. Uh, we finished our, our circuit, came back to Moscow. And it was late. We took about three hours nap before getting to the airport. And, and I had a dream. And in this dream, Osama bin Laden uh, was looking for me. <laughs> so he was alive there. That was the first time in Russia. And, uh, uh, and he, he, he was looking. And I had to hide. Somehow he didn't get me. Thank God he didn't get me. <laughs> but, 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 but what came into my spirit was that our first encounter in Russia, the principalities took notice. Oh, yes, yes. They took notice. Oh, yes. I, I wasn't surprised, but I was surprised. Because it was just our first touch. Since then we've gone, we go almost every year. But my point is, they don't hear what you say. They see who you are. Who is he that is speaking about this gospel? Who are they that are coming to summon our nations before the cross? What kind of authority base I, 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 do they have? What kind of grace are they walking in? What kind of mystery are they? Are they? Are, are they? Are they bringing out? I pray this day that may we tap into the mysteries of our calling. Yeah. And it's about time we move from the gospel into the mysteries of the gospel. Yeah. There's so much more about you in the life that you carry than we know. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if we you know who you are, if we know who we are, we will shift our dimensions. Oh, of oppression. Yeah. We will think so differently. Yeah. If God could present David as, as a, a, a father to the Messiah, guess what he can do with you? As a vessel of honor. As a vessel he can work with. I pray this day that remember this, that we are all bright and morning stars because as he is, so are we. And we are supposed to lead wise men unto the cross. The wise men saw the star. And they follow him. Well, when we go to, to the nations, may they see the star that you are. It is the star that we have that guides them to the cross. It is the star that we have that brings them to their place of manifestation. See that the yes. Father, I pray for the release of the revelation of this grace of spirit. David found favor on your side. And you presented him as father to the Messiah. Remember us, O God, in our days. Remember us, O God, in our time. Help us to comprehend and understand the very purpose of our calling. That we may be able to manifest according to the very desired heart. Lord, order our steps as the light that shines and brings us to our place of manifestation. Lord, bring us to that understanding of who you are in us and who we are in you. Lord, I pray this day that as you lead us into the nations, we will be able to gather based on the light that shines, not based on the words that we speak. Father, I pray, oh God, let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be the light that shines through our hearts 
Say hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can, can we just bring in the Holy Ghost? Just bring in the Holy Ghost. 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 Rabaka shata rabaka se. Grebota rasata kashe. Lereko sata rabasha kahapa se. Reke se 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 se. Reke ke 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 ke. Reka pasha rabasata. Roka she lelo se teha. Lelo
But for David, he said, my loving kindness shall not be bad. But for us, his grace has been with us. And he has raised us up together and made us, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So David had all those descriptions for his throne. But as for us, we are seated on the throne. 